All right, what is up, you guys? And of course, always welcome back to the Horse Week. You gotta stop calling it that. This is that game anyway. Uh, going up against Luca from Reddit, and uh, I hope we can have a good change, as always. Really, um, the the randomized battle I had was not necessarily the best one for for either of us, and it's got really theoretical. Oh, look, look at this, <laughs> Luca! Great team. Probably a bit too high for me. There are two good things about this team, though, that stands out. Um, Kelly is actually really good. Um, however, Swampert looks to be very tough. And um, it always is. Hey, And, and also, really, Grass Streer is probably going to be... Star or Rhino is going to be a really good overall Pokemon. I want to hope my opponent leads off with something like Tyranitar or Swampert. Though versus Tyranitar I'll probably switch out, but versus Swampert I have every other reason to just go for that uh, breaking power early. Uh, and it's a bit of a risk by the way, but Rapid Dash does break this team naturally, but just some of the mods, like there are too many mods that beats it after it does or has lost a bit of its HP. But I wanted to know my opponent. That looks like a Tyranitar name. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Just like, yeah. Mm. Not the greatest thought. Now I do have the means to pressure it, but Rygar is better. Rygar is absolutely better. Unfortunately, it could be two sets. And I fear both. It could be a Stealth Rock set, just a supporter, um, which in its own right doesn't necessarily scare me, but it's pressuring me. Um, right, some good defensive utilities here. Now, what are switchings to this? I do have Toxic, so I can punish any switch in that comes in, and also Stealth Rocks, which is usable. It's not perfect for the matchup, but it's usable. Um, Bond Press, I don't believe, has any downplay necessarily. Um, but Silver is absolutely safer, so that's what we're going with. I think Swampert comes in. Um, Lagron. Okay, yeah, sounds sounds about right. Um, now, do I have a switch in for this in theory? The answer to that is um, no. <laughs> and he has every possibility of shipping me down. Um, Probably Skull too, so that's it's not a perfect switch in. Let's see. It'll really lose nothing by sending in time out, so she'll be able to do most of the work versus this. Uh, I think it's just gonna stealth rock anyway. Or toxic. Or scald. Probably worse. Waterfall? We can do waterfall. Oh yes, oh yes we can. Um so switch in to this from his side. Still gotta go for Icicle Spear. I don't believe I have even another option. Um, Rock Slide. Hey, that's a combination I didn't foresee. We don't take that well. And Flinch? No. But uh, yeah, not necessarily a perfect amount of damage back on here. At least we had a few connections here, which is nice. Um, Oh, we get we get all the rounds, and buff the hands. <laughs> handstorm, sandstorm. So it's leftovers. Rock slide, waterfall. The sandstorm really get us subside now. If I want to get some, get something back here. Um, ah, it's not a perfect situation to be in. I'll, I'll tell you guys that. If I were him, I'd probably waterfall here. Because he's a risk of getting sacked. Though we always always have speed. Rock slide. Yeah, good. We should not necessarily take this well, but we're we're not busted by it. Sensor should subside. And we have a pretty much a broken swamp at this point. So what are switching to this? I mean I hydro pump here easily. Yeah, the only switching I see is actually He's not sacking this, is he? 
like Tyranitar or more likely I feel Salamence is quite free. So I really wanted to flip turn, I'll give you guys that. That's a dragon name, for sure. And it's, at least, as far as I'm aware, I'm missing attacks. Um, he could be Scarfed. I'm Ice Wind anyway. Yeah, Fly. Of all the things. And we didn't see Intimidate, so I have every reason to think he is um, Moxie. Hmm. We should be able to stomach one of these hits. Oh, look at the fly animation. That was actually kind of cool. So we know he's scarfed. Does Swamper come back here? I kind of feel it does. I want to bait this guy so badly. So choice scoffed Salamence. That's annoying. So I think Swamp Brew comes in again. Lagron. Yeah, sounds about right. And he's going to see Swamp or uh, Rapidash and think, yeah, it's no problem. So hopefully he stays in so I can kill him. Because he's probably thinking, you know what? I'm good. I have a lot of HP. I am, uh, I am the hero of the storm or whatever. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So solar beam, solar blade. He stays in. Nice. The only thing that's not going my way here now is um, uh, that's a, that's a thing though. Um, I mean, Tyranitar comes back in here and there is nothing to it. So... I'm like, yeah, hey, I remember you. At least it's not Smooth Rock. I have every reason to believe it's um, either supportive or... Um, I'm chipping down this guy so much. Um, I don't want to see stealth rocks. If, it, like, if he has stealth rocks, I think that's um, that's just not good. Earthquake. We can do earthquake. But yeah, you know what? I am losing a lot of stamina to my stamina Pokemon. Um. Now, what are switch ins? At this point, I would be lying if um, like he's not going to hard switch an Age Slash. He's not going to hard switch anything, are you? Mimikyu maybe gets momentum. All toxic here, really. I I have no idea what he would want to do. He just decided to crunch, which just gets me fatter. But it also means that he is trying to win this matchup. Or he is sacking Tyranitar, which works only if I can get out of Sandstorm. I'm still keeping my... I need to bother press here. Basically, he's forcing my hand, and uh, I have no real switch into this anyway. Yeah, Earthquakes. So it shouldn't do anything, we should be a very, very, very chunky at this point. But... Like, we are allowing Salamence to um, get a free plus one. And that's not something I want to do, nor trying to preserve. How many more turns of Sandstorm have we got? Like, can I take a fly from this guy? AG Slash is also a Pokemon that comes in and probably pressures me more than I want to as I have no real way of switching into it. However, we do have Spec Tree which forces it out.
Let's see, he does decide to think, so I think he is in that kind of predicament. Do you want to try to s kill it with Salamence? Maybe even go so far in Dynamax, or... I mean, I'm sack playing here no matter what. Um, two turns of Sandstorm. I really hope I can manage one hit here. Just decide to fly, good. Pretty sure it's gonna Dynamax. I'll be honest, I definitely consider it. So when the Sandstorm is over, I hope, I really, really hope, um, I can abuse something here. Because um, I think I survived this fly. Oh, yeah, 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 we're, we're good. I really, really like this Pokemon. Now, how much will this Body Press do? Up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Salamence was not a switching. <laughs> Sans will subside, which means I have my Sash intact on Ulysses for a potential Trick Room. That said, depending on his Aegis Slash, depending on the Mimikyu, um, I just don't know how much... Yeah, and there's Pyratax. Which, by the way, I was also kind of fearing. Um, toxic or Earthquake? He's gonna get chunky on me. We know he's not Sash because of the heavy duty boots. Um, Earthquake won't do anything. Like, he has a free Quiver Dance if he wants to. He does decide to burn me, which is good. Because I think I am on a theoretical timer. Connects to Toxic, so we set him, like I said, on a timer, which is crucial for this matchup. As depending on his move set, I could force him out. Now I believe a bug bus should kill. And I also believe kind of rapid dash can win this matchup, but it. All body press here. I think he should kill me. At this point, I have no reason not to. Take like the broader route. I have a plus four with body press though, so I hope I do something with that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pressuring you. <laughs> I am pressuring the hell out of you. The sad part is here that I'm actually want to sack this Pokemon. Because, um, by the way, he has to kill me now or he loses his Volcarona. That's actually phenomenal. <laughs> and he's, he has to kill me. Heat Wave, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. I am so fucking dead. And he allowed me to do too much work against him. So, right. This is gonna look strange for him. But basically, what I can do is set up a trick room. Here comes the heat wave. Should bring me down to my sash without a doubt. <laughs> Please don't die. Yes. And now a healing wish. This is weird. I like this, but I didn't get my chilling nay, which I wanted. Um, bug bite? What? Not bug bus? Huh. Huh. Okay. So we got Mimikyu, and we got AD Slash, and we are right now, in theory, slower than them. It depends what I want to do. If Mimikyu comes in, I'm I'm gonna attack against both. Let's see. Excagid. Since I'm slower, I kinda don't wanna attack them directly. Then again, like Air Balloon. So we have to attack. Fine. 
<laughs> good strat. Good strat. Let's see. Break the balloon. <laughs> because I think high horsepower does is actually connect. Two times, that's enough. Stance change for close combat or what? On head. It's fair. Yeah, does plenty. So he has to do the combination of either King Shield or doesn't. Okay, fine. That's gonna kill him. And I'm gonna get my kill in there. <laughs> Was it full offensive? I wonder. The air balloon was good. That forced me not to be able to set up, which if I could have set up, I would probably have been able to guarantee kill this Mimikyu. At this point, I'm not sure. We're gonna break the disguise though, and unless, like, I don't think Shadow Sneak will kill us. Let's see. Bust that. Now, at least two more hits, and I think I'm golden. Let's find out. Let's find out. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom. One. Two. Oh, and he lives. The boy who lives. And the boy who kills. Hey. <laughs> and, uh, oh, it's a life for nobody. <laughs> All right. GG Luca. That was a g great game. I, I like that. I really like that. Um... Now, without self rock, that was actually going in my favor, and uh, the trick room assets. I'll I'll be honest, without trick room, I don't know how many wins I could have gotten with this team. Basically, allowing um, Glacier to get that turnabout with the massive power up that it does have just it breaks teams naturally, and I love it. It's so weird, and I love it. So this will actually wrap up the horse week. I really hope you guys enjoyed these series of games. I sure as hell did because it did way better than it should have done. What is that? Two losses and four wins? You know what? I take them. I'll take them. So as always guys, I really mean this. Thank you for of course watching. You guys are awesome. I really mean that. And um, I'll see you in the next week. Until then as always, take care everyone.